All right. Uh, next video is uh, from Gem Reviews. This guy is this guy is a legendary dude. Loves Star Citizen, hates Star Citizen, um, and has videos that I I think are always really in in engaging to go to back and forth with. Um, uh, let me link you to him if you guys haven't yet. Big into Starfield and stuff like that, so I imagine a lot of Starfield uh, content coming in the next few months. But this one is got a thumbnail. Greed above all. Star Citizen Prospector Mining is dead. No, it's not. So I, I immediately disagree with the title, and I think we'll have uh, an engaging uh, back and forth. But let's see his opinion or where he's getting these ideas from and see if we can have a discussion about it at all. Um, hold up. Oh, wrong uh, thing here. Let's see. Goodbye, prospector. Solo prospector mining is dead. I assume he wants to say goodbye, like bye bye. Okay, so it's from a Reddit prospector. thread. But, well, you get the point. Folks, welcome to a channel doing another video regarding Star Citizen. And it's usually not good news New lately we know regarding him. Star Citizen. Unfortunately, I would love to have great news for you guys regarding new awesome content. Things they're doing so as to improve the gameplay. No, it's usually everything about, okay, how can we squeeze more money out of these suckers? That's basically all they think about. Before I go on with the video, if you appreciate my take, if you have fun watching, then of course, a subscription is definitely appreciated. Subscribe to the channel, you have the button there. Also hit the notification bell button. And if you're interested in our topics, I have other channels as well. I've been playing video games for a while, but it's not really my my main uh, my main channel is actually about preparedness survival. That's actually what I do. Uh, but I've been playing. You oh, really? Okay. So that's what all the 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 stuff in the background See, is. There in the background, that little box there, I was actually noticing now, that is from... I was wondering how, why he had a, a 100k YouTube channel thing, and now now I, I remember why. Um, one of the, the, the Fallout, I think it's Fallout 4 that I bought with a nice... Uh, yeah, and I think that, yeah, over there, you see that the Pip-Boy thing? That actually came inside that box. And that's just, you know, one of the... I've been a long time a fan of, of um, Fallout, even since the PC Fallout 1 games, and even beyond that. But just so as to give you an idea, uh, I do appreciate video games. I love video games. Unfortunately, I don't play all that much. Um, well, I guess as you grow older, you have a family, you have kids. I actually spend a little bit more time in the pool, which is a lot healthier than playing video games. Especially when video games start looking the way Star Citizen is looking right now, which is... Pretty crappy. I haven't played in a long time, actually. And I have some content that I've done. I don't even feel like uploading it, really. I, I'll go through it, see if there's something worth your time. Because I don't want to waste my time. I definitely don't want to waste your time either. I've, do I've done a lot of that lately, too. I kind of know exactly what this guy's feeling. Is I I've had, like, discussions or feelings about the game. And then I go, you know what? Nobody cares. What I have to say, it's all going to fall on deaf ears. It doesn't matter. And then I just don't post it. But stuff like this just it grinds my gears, but it also shows you what is really going on. Okay, so let's get to this right away. Goodbye. Okay, again, right away, this is not showing what's really going on, right? Right away in chat, too, Eminence and Shadow is probably having a very differing opinion. I'm earning almost the same now while mining tier two rocks as I was previously with Quantanium mining, spending more time mining rocks and now less time looking for rocks. Prospector, why is this guy saying goodbye prospector? Because it now sucks. Well, after trying to for several months, I will likely melt my prospector. I feel like solo prospector mining is completely dead, which it is. He's actually correct. He's actually right. I have given this issue can can source sources i made it up some time and, and by the way same thing for the vulture they sold you the vulture and vulture 
pretty crappy. Um, and the, the the reclaimer again, they wanna find ways of selling you ships, and then they either nerf it, they just don't maintain it, or they just find ways of okay, what is it that we can sell you now? What's the new thing we can do so as to trick you into buying new crap? I have tried several techniques, watch guides. All of this is wasted time. I mean, I've done this myself, but really, my advice, be careful about how much time you're wasting on something that is constantly changing and usually not for a more better fun factor, just for a better monetization factor for CIG. And I have come to the conclusion that solo prospector mining is dead. I don't okay. mind that mining got some changes. In fact, I welcome looking for more than just Quintanium to break it down. Those who don't know, now you basically look for gold, Terranine, and Baxalite. If you do find some Q that is nice too, the only issue is you cannot find any of these more valuable minerals that can be mined with a solo prospector, essentially killing the profession for solo players. Oh, and Okay, so... Solo prospector mining is not dead. Mining, period, is. That's it. That's the issue here, is that mining is so broken that you don't understand what's happening, therefore it's dead. Right? Uh, I've talked to Torsten about this, and and he is even made some sneaky comments to people on Reddit or or on Spectrum or something about or in or in their their Twitch chats I've heard uh it, this this is 100% only down to this guys and if you're not aware of it I would like to inform you about it it is this instability bug or whatever is there is a, a rock you like. Here's the deal: you can come up to a rock that is fifteen thousand mass, one point whatever instability, and ten percent, um, point point one resistance. Okay, ten k mass should be able to do it with a prospector pretty easily. You go up to it, nothing happens. You switch out modules, you switch out lasers, you try everything. You just can't get this thing to power up. What is happening here? Then you go to a 15K mass rock, very similar materials, very similar uh, stats. The thing shoots up and you break it instantly. And nobody knows why. Right? Waiting is a workaround, but sometimes you could be waiting for 10, 15 minutes. You know, like it could be forever. Right? Right? So everybody knows how much I love mining. When was the last time I mined? There is nothing wrong with, I mean, not nothing. There's plenty of, of things that can be improved on, but there is so much less wrong with the searching for materials than there is with the actual uh, act, action of mining. And, well, okay, let me rephrase it. I see m very little issues outside of scanning with the distribution and uh looking for material now i have very little issue or no issue with the raising and lowering of your power the idea of applying different uh modules and things like that to your rocks i think the actual action of mining is incredibly good the the issue that i take is this weird instability instability thing that just isn't it's not being communicated to the player what's going on. So they have no idea how to counter it. On top of that, I have a personal feeling that instability should have no impact, zero impact on your ability to power a rock. Yeah, it seems so random. Is it? We don't know because there's no, com there's nothing communicating what's going on there, right? So for me, the biggest issue is... uh. Instability should not be determining whether or not I can put power into a rock. It should determine how easily I it is to stay in the green zone, right? But it doesn't. So that's that's where I have issue. Now, uh, we're not even halfway through the video, so let's continue on and, and see what his opinions are. But I adamantly disagree with the the poster, and I and and uh Jem here is 
is I, I just have a big issue with uh, that because I think it is way more of an issue with this bug that's happening than anything else. And mining other um, uh, materials like boras and uh, burial is just a time suck, not worth it. I mined maybe hundreds of millions of quantanium. I was, it was the thing yeah. I would do like all the time uh, my, uh, mining quantanium and even trying to go for, you, you have to try to find your own fun. I would try to go for the 100% quantanium, you know, and you know, if I... Yeah, everybody wanted to mine the biggest and best thing. And now when you have a prospector and you can't do that, People feel, I mean, this is a star citizen community problem. The, the entitlement here from both of these people is big time. That I should be able to do more. I should be able to do the best things. Stop pausing. This video has been out for t over 24 hours. You could have watched this video yourself. If I hit that 99.9%, no, I want to have the 100% quantanium. And I did that thing for a while. It is fun for a while, then it's no longer fun. And then they just kill it because it makes way too much money for the kind of economy that we see, want. See, see. Which is I should be able to make the most amount of money with my prospector. It's key language for we just want you to buy more ships. The people I play Star Citizen with are not miners. Sometimes I just want to chill out and do some solo mining. Now it feels like a complete waste of my time, which is... Sometimes I just want to chill out and do some solo mining. So go do it. Then, then it shouldn't matter what you mine. Right? Like, that is just... That's a weird statement to make and then say that mining's dead. Chill out and just go do it then, dude. I don't know the exact alpha UEC per hour. It's something that maybe maybe I should do. Uh, now, the problem is, is I'm, I'm getting this really horrible B1 issue, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in-game and do it. But maybe I should pop in-game and solo mine a little bit more and go for these Tier 2 materials and really show um, its viability or not, right? Like, I can listen to somebody in Twitch chat and guess based off of the information that i have um but yeah the, but again the reason solo mining is bad is because you're unable to break rocks that you should and you're able to break rocks that you shouldn't occasionally it is i feel like the devs That's making these changes don't it. play the game much they do but they don't have the same objectives that you think they have changes like this make me lose my enthusiasm for the game yes it does professions should give the player something to get excited about instead of my instead i'm just bored to tears yeah capital letters because that's the problem now it's just I, and i think here's the deal is no matter what you're going to be in that place until we're taking that material and turning it into something of value i i think it's always going to reach a level of boredom at some point so that is unavoidable for right now but the idea of um of solo mining being dead I, i'm i'm still unsure about that but maybe i should do my own research on it in terms of actually going out there and doing it every day for a couple weeks or something damn boring i will likely just melt my prospector and use the credit to buy new latest greatest ship Thanks for listening to the complaint department. Well, there you go. And he's absolutely right. They killed it because they just want to find ways of you making less money. And okay. Tier 2 materials are not only more common, and, and this is all true and, and stuff that I've seen in the past, so I'll read it out to you. This is from Taylor in chat. They, they have a way better cluster factor, and paired with an Optimax, you will almost always get back to a refinery with the entire cargo full of that Tier 2 material. Again, tier two materials are things like um, titanium, right? Uh, name some of the the tier two materials that are that are pretty valuable. I think co like copper and stuff is tier one. Tier two is your laronite, your agrisium, your boraz, hephaestonite. Yeah, right. So those those are the ones that were like really good before but not qu then quantanium came in and now people don't even want to mine them but they're they're 
there. Yeah, titanium's one of the lowest. I'm sorry. Titanium's a good cargo hauling thing, and I just had that in my mind. Um, and that's when I was like, help me out here, guys, because I'm I'm losing it. <laughs> but the the idea of uh of mining those those are that is all very true is like the clustering factors are really good you're going to get a lot of 100 percent pieces and you're going to make pretty good money so yeah i i don't get this one and then incentivizing you to buy new ships and the next comment by beard rub says I imagine the meeting goes. CIG data. Hey, yo, people are using the prospector and not the mole. What should we do? CIG design. Stomp on the nuts of the prospector so the mole is the only viable option? That's good. That's very good. But it needs something <laughs> more. CIG design. What if we literally penalize players for grouping up in prospectors, which was, which was actually fun at that point, and gave benefits for using a mole as a group? It was actually cool. One of the few... Um, a multiplayer fun little moments I had, which it was just you know less than one percent of my time, but it was actually getting along with with another guy. And hey, let's go! I found this big rock. Let's get together with our prospectors. We mostly mine solo. But Bro, that's such bullshit though, because you you didn't need to do this. Everybody can mine individually with one prospector. You were just doing it to do it, but it never was a thing that was viable or needed to be done. This didn't make the mole viable uh, or more or less viable. This didn't make uh, the the prospector grouping a viable thing because it was never viable in the first place. Uh, what they did is make... Th did they overdo it on the mole? Probably. But to the point where you're saying prospector mining is dead is incredibly entitled. And that's... Um, the point of view that I have on this. But, you know, you, you go in the global chat, you find someone else, and you get together, and between the two of you, you mine a bigger rock. That was perfectly viable, that was realistic, that was the sim aspect of, yeah, we have two things shooting a laser at the same time, of course, that has, that's how it works. No, 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 that's not how it works anymore, because our lore department says, no, well, let's get to that in a second. We it's warning the people lore for department. just using a bad ship, penalize the fun way to play. Could it work? Will people really ignore the atrocious design of the mole? And it's terrible, because it, it lets them mine profitably. Uh, only one way to find out. And, and now... Here's the other deal is I don't want to defend the current status of mining because I think the things that I really liked uh, about the current status of mining is that it prepares us for a fun future, but not the most fun present. It has crafting in mind, it traveling, you know, this planet is full in this type of material and this one is full in that type of material, right? So it's not, it's clearly not perfect, but it is not as sensational as we're hearing here. Actually, this is the guy that really nails it. Dustoff57 says, CIG data. Hey, yo, people are using the prospector and not buying the mole. What should we do? Fix for marketing clarity. That's exactly, and here is where we get to the point of the video. They just... This, it's just not the case. They took our feedback that there's no point in ever using the mole. And maybe they didn't make the best choices on it. I think it's fine, personally. I like the idea of what they did. I think there's a lot that they need to change with um, green zones. And then it's probably going to be okay. But it every, th every decision made in-game by the developers are not influenced by the marketing team when patches release when a ship is available to purchase in the game um who is allowed to say what at what time that is marketing dependent what ha what the details of this specific update were i don't think they had anything to do with
Let's look at ways of how can we sell you more crap? How we can we sell you more ships? A $315 mole ship. That's what they want to buy. That's what they want you to buy. That's why they destroy the prospector, which it is more affordable. It is easier to buy in game. I mean, still a heck of a lot of time spent, but it is so greedy, so despicable, so disgusting. At times you really see what they are made of, their real purpose, and... Okay, so let's, let's take a step back then and use this logic against you. Um, they made renting a prospector viable now. So is that greedy and bad and, and, and dirty? Right? Like, we, we can't only look at it from one way. Again, this bug is so problematic that it's creating all these thoughts about all these crazy things that aren't happening to people because they aren't being communicated what's happening to them. Right? You can just rent a prospector now and mine... I mined a 15k mask... 32% Quantanium Rock with a rented Prospector and the Stock Laser, I think. Okay? Pretty, pretty badass. Is, is that dead? Does that mean solo prospecting is dead? Weird. They have gone so far away from anything regarding gameplay, fun, anything. I just have to think about Chris Roberts. You know, maybe when he puts that... That's, that's so fun. Dude, I can't stop pausing. This is the only update they've ever done that had gameplay in mind exclusively. Head of his on his pillow, on his luxurious pillow in some yacht. He may be thinking, yeah... I stole my fucking soul for all of this money. I guess it was worth it. I mean, I think it's kind of sad because, yeah, money is nice, but there's other things that you enjoy in life too. I guess that at some point, this guy did enjoy video games. Now you know what he's thinking? Now Chris Roberts is thinking, I'll play Starfield. I'll hide somewhere in my mansion <laughs> and I'll play Starfield because that's the game. I did not Jen, have the nuts. I did not have... Jeb, how do you sneak it into this video? How do you manage? How did you manage? The courage. I did not even believe in myself enough to think I could actually do the game I told everyone else I could do. Because Are these the same OP? Let's see. No. Because when I saw the opportunity of making the money and killing the game... I just killed the game and went for the money. I don't care about the game anymore. I just care about banking. I just care about selling moles for $315 Then screw the game. While on the other end of the spectrum... He's not doing good quality of salt like you, Salty Mike. I ha absolutely had takes like this before. Okay. They weren't... They, were, I, they weren't correct. They weren't informed. And that's okay. Nobody's perfect. I've absolutely had takes that are exactly like this. Still have them today. Right? Um, so it, it, it's to say that I'm so much better than, than Jem is, is ridiculous, right? He's not happy with his current experience in the game. And uh, now something that he really enjoyed isn't working correctly. And they've, you know, this is a situation where they took something away from, from uh, prospector miners. They took away being able to mine everything. They took away being able to mine the best possible rocks that you can mine, right? Those are now for bigger ships. And that hurts their feelings, which is sort of understandable. But I think they've taken it to a level of saying it's dead when the whole, if you look at the system as a whole, it is so far from dead and is actually the only thing that is pointing towards any possibility of any video game that, that I've seen yet with Star Citizen, right? Moving the commodities to different areas, uh, focusing on, on crafting and, and saying, okay, 
each commodity is going to have this in it with this. So you're going to you're never going to just have pure this. It's not going to be that easy. You know, you could you could break it up to maybe get it that way and, and use some modules to do it, but you know, you're not going to be able to do that. All right, we're going to add and make modules actually worth using uh for different types of experiences that you're having. Oh, we're going to make the mole worth using again cuz multi crew mining never made sense doing. Like Come on, man. There's guys like Ton Howard. There's you people that actually in this game. have They're the balls. Finally they have the courage. It. They may get it right and wrong every once in a while, as we all do. I certainly know I've had a lot more failures than successes, but it still is part of that development, that journey. And eventually, when you get to something that you go like, damn, yeah, this actually worked great. It is all worth it. That's what guys with courage end up doing now if you are just running with what you got and you fool enough people into thinking you would actually make a game that you no longer plan on, del on delivering ever clearly enough you do this you do what you're seeing right now on the screen you just kill the it's, fun in a so little funny. bit of fun that you had how in this different our tech demo are. that you don't plan on ever delivering but the little fun that some of us had you just say no we'll just stomp on it so as to have a few more thousand idiots buy them all and they will maybe talk with a couple of their friends and when they realize it sucks they'll stop playing but they already lost their money <laughs> yeah i screwed them over right 315 bucks those assholes those those fools at Bethesda are selling a game for 70 bucks that is so stupid i'm a lot smarter i'm making a whole lot more money well okay yeah sure let's go starfield baby but you know, for us, which we are not the guys that are benefiting from the bank account of Chris Roberts, we Starfield don't care about that. Us. We just care about having a great game. And this is further away from a great game. Let me make this absolutely clear. Is Star Citizen, as of right now, I is worse than it was last year. And it's worse than it was a couple years ago. And it What the fuck are you talking about? It has gone to this point, what? you know, this it's it peaked in terms of, yeah, they are now just running with this idea of crushing anything that is very profitable, uh, patching any little bit of fun that we actually managed to have, pushing this crap about, well, you have your multiplayer mode. No one does that. You do it for a couple of weeks, and then people have lives, and it is boring, and you stop doing, oh, but I do it with my friends. Okay, good for you, man. You know how often you'll do that? You know how long your friends will tag along with this in a game that is never developed, ever finished? Yeah, I mean, that's a totally different argument than saying it's dead, right? Like, that's where I put my energy is going, yeah, great, but what do I do with the ore? It doesn't mean, like, all these updates don't mean anything if in a future update very soon, you don't have me doing something with the ore and making it viable. Any real progression? Yeah, good luck with that but you already spend the money. Now, my advice, as always, do whatever as you want, freedom above everything else. My advice with 70 bucks, I wouldn't even start playing Star Citizen right now. If you want to play Star Citizen, you have the referral code there below, which I obviously appreciate if you do <laughs> what? If you use, but I also have the link for Starfield. Buy Starfield instead. It is, in terms of an investment for your time and your enjoyment, let alone your money, it is a lot better. And, you know, some, some people are pretty tight in terms of money. And 70 bucks, <laughs> 100 no bucks, way, 300 bucks, dude. it's a lot of money. For some people, it's, you know, kind of pocket change, 300 bucks, right? And they say, yeah, I bought them all, 300 bucks. I played with my, my friends a couple of weeks, and we had fun. It was worth it. Well, that's okay for that kind of folks. But for other people that are kind of, ah, I got my, you know, 50 bucks, 70 bucks, I'll buy this ship and... The, don't buy anything right now in terms of Star Citizen. Use that money. Use a referral kit that you link that you had there for uh, Amazon in the link below uh, underneath the video as well. Buy yourself Starfield instead. I can guarantee you it is, you know, light years away from anything in terms of fun that you'll get Starfield out of Star Citizen, Game especially Pass, right yes. now. I hope they change their ways based on experience. People like this don't, but it is what it is. Folks, subscribe to the channel if you appreciate my honesty, and see you in the next one. Take care. Hmm. People just call their own opinions honesty. Am I being dishonest with any of the takes that I've had about this? Right? That's his opinion. 
which some of it is, you know, mining isn't in the best state, okay? It's not. Solo mining feels... Because here's, here's the difference between solo mining and group mining. Is that bug doesn't affect group miners. Because the issue is you're unable to charge a rock. Or, it, or sometimes it charges maybe a little bit too much. But the, the, uh, the big thing is... It is it affects solo miners more because you don't have anybody to help you push the power to where it should be if you weren't experiencing that that issue. And that's the that's the problem that I see. Is I don't know how to counter the issue if it's intended. I don't believe it's intended because there were multiple posts from Torsten about that being an issue and being being fixed stop guys and then the uh the you're, you're distracting me the the issue has been called out as a bug they thought they resolved it somewhere in 319 and then they didn't and now we're dealing with this kind of po these kind of posts that are coming up so for me it's it's an issue where if they resolve this bug, I think both of these people will feel a little bit differently about their solo prospector. You also have an incredibly entitled opinion to where you should be able to do everything where you're not. Uh, and that's that's really it. Okay, so I can't do this video seriously anymore. So I will, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.